starting on a path that would make history the first woman speaker of the house for cry. our daughters and our granddaughters today we have broken the marble ceiling that's interesting i don't know if that's good or not sounds pretty though doesn't it i would want to keep the marble on the grave to other women as I That's stood on the shoulders of those who met before. Really don't now, want marble over my head unless it's... Because it's usually used as a veneer instead of an engineering material. Making her speaker once again. Hate you. We didn't have a speaker who would bring a gun bill to the floor. We didn't have a speaker who would bring a dreamer's issue to the floor. We do now. And that's good for every American. I like that she had five kids. She's a beautiful woman. But not everyone was on board. Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi, Pelosi. Those two are actually a great duo. She manages and works with him. It's almost like you have a real present first lady. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it's like you have a real president and first lady. Maybe I would call executive a first lady. Though Melania is brilliant, she's been forced to be kind of like decorative, even though she's a brilliant woman. Those five languages can so beautiful visual perception of reality now the pontifex said that anyone that gets in the way he could hit if they insulted the virgin mary i defended the virgin mary at the greek orthodox church saint john the vine in duval county when they put candles and fire to it i defended it the pope said to punch them in the face i simply removed the fire from the image of the virgin mary and I'm in trouble right now because that upsets some people. I'm like, I would never United burn the Virgin Mary. It's my honor to bring you the greetings of House Democrats, the most diverse majority in history, more than 60% women, people of color, and LGBTQ. Hmm. Our diversity is our strength. Our unity is our power. This month, as America marks the centennial of women, finally women winning the right to vote, we do so with 105 women in the House. Proudly, 90 are Democrats. To win the vote, women marched and fought and never gave in. We stand on their shoulders, charged with carrying forward the unfinished work of our nation, advanced by heroes from Seneca Falls to Selma to Stonewall. Four years ago, when President Obama and Vice President Biden were in the White House, they made us proud, and their leadership made our country great. In that spirit, we come together now, not to decry the darkness, but to light a way forward for our country. That is the guiding purpose of House Democrats, fighting for the people. We have sent the Senate bills for lower health care costs, for bigger paychecks, for cleaner government, protecting John Lewis's voting rights, and enacting George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. We have sent the Senate bills to protect our dreamers, LGBTQ equality, and prevent gun violence, and to preserve our planet for future generations, and even more. All of this is possible for America. Who was standing in the way? Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. Our nation faces the worst health and economic catastrophe in our history. More than 5 million Americans are infected by the coronavirus. Over 170,000 have died. The science-based action in the HEROES Act we enacted three months ago is essential to safeguard lives, livelihood, and the life of our democracy. And who is standing in the way? Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. Instead of crushing the virus, they're trying to crush the Affordable Care Act and its pre-existing conditions benefit. As Speaker of the House, I've been I've seen firsthand Donald Trump's disrespect for facts, for working families, and for women in particular. Disrespect written into his policies toward our health and our rights, not just his conduct. But we know what he doesn't, that when women succeed, America succeeds. And so we are unleashing the power of women to take our rightful place in our national life by championing a woman's right to choose and defending Roe v. Wade, securing safe and affordable child care, preserving Social Security and passing equal pay for equal work. Who's standing in the way? Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. So here is our answer. We will remember in November when we will elect Joe Biden president 
whose heart is full of love for America and rid the country of Trump's heartless disregard for America's goodness. Joe Biden's faith in God gives him the courage to lead. Joe Biden's love gives him the strength to persevere. Joe Biden is the president we need right now. Battle-tested, forward-looking, honest, and authentic. If, if, you, if you're believing the words she's saying, write her fighting. name in. Do not choose Joe Biden. And Kamala or Harris all is like the that. vice president we need right or, now. I don't know Committed how to, to do our this constitution, for you, but... brilliant Anyways. in defending it, and a witness to the women of this nation that our voices will be heard. Our mission is to fight for a future equal to the ideals of our founders. Our hopes for our children and the sacrifices of our veterans, our brave men and women in uniform, and their families. We will increase our majority in the House. We will win a Democratic majority in the Senate. We will elect Kamala Harris vice president. And we will elect Joe Biden president of the United States of America. God bless you and God bless America. She's amazing. She's fantastic. Y'all can Thank do any you, kind of Pelosi. power jump for her. The like, house is the people's house. No problem. But Joe and to Biden ensure and Kamala, it stays that way, we need Kamala's an amazing everyone woman. to help fund our work. She, to elect she would be Joe vice Biden president. She wouldn't be elected president. Democrats up and Don't down be like, the ballot. confused about who you're electing. If you are able, also, you Biden. need to do something now and chip in before she's in office about women's right to Last have year, under Speaker Pelosi's leadership, the House reauthorized uh, the Obama women Obama was the actual Joe president, was not vice president, and Obama did ago. nothing Since to then, guarantee the right to make children. Have built on it. He had to have but in vitro fertilization work, for both of his daughters to be born, and he still never once raised the question of will Joe they Biden require that, knows that and he is committed the right to, to birth be covered as part of health sure insurance that or that it be provided to making sure our voices or are heard. just in some way a protected right. And it is a protected right. The Constitution says posterity. Posterity produces children. My husband shot me okay. the so head. It's a guaranteed For right of the Constitution. Years, and I had Obama was president and didn't do anything to benefit it. Escaped. Don't for a Pretty moment think staff. Kamala, who couldn't even do Back IVF or didn't do IVF to have children, to is going to be more Mobile effective than someone who was president and didn't do it. Biden's never done anything for violence. any women ever now working in all of his Senate time. He's just, oh, I lost my wife, my daughter, my daughter-in-law, my son. Oh, I'm the sympathy case. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, don't be tough on me. Golly. Hey, I'm the old guy in the room. And that's like all the time. It's like we're all electing the grandpa who puts up with the teasing and people like the way he behaves, but in no way is he executive material. He's never been family executive material. In my small hometown, he did produce I didn't feel Family like from I the Second, but that's the Book of Job. But at the University Biden's of committed Kansas, sexual assault, I met an incredible even while he was married, working to end the culture of sexual assault. I went from survivor to advocate. And seriously, raping people while you're married? That's not CEO, cool. So I'm going to stop this video violence. and I'll start again a new I've section. Seen Joe Biden's